Why would you tell us to watch this tape knowing that it could be dangerous? Not enough that you just gave us the house. Welcome everyone to the full game of Amanda the Adventurer. This is not a demo. This is the actual game. Let's start it. It is a horror game guised as a children's type of show. It looked interesting based on the demo. So we're going to go play the full thing. Just launched today. And let's hit start. Let's see what we got. Dear Riley, if you're reading this, it means you won't see me again. Unless it's in the next life. I wish I could have told you everything. I don't know how much time I have. And there is still so much I have to do before I'm gone. This letter serves two purposes. To say goodbye and to bequeath to you my house in Kinsdale. This next part may be a mistake. And guys, forgive me if it is. When you settle in, there's something in the attic I need to pass on to you. Look for a tape. But know that once you watch it, there's no turning back. Stay safe. With you always, Aunt Kate. Why would you tell us to watch this tape knowing that it could be dangerous? Not enough that you just gave us the house. This game using an autosave feature. Yes. We just arrived in the house. Yes. Alright. Let's get started. It looks almost identical to the demo in some spots. We don't know what this is, so let's back out. All right. It feels kind of skatey, the walking. This oven, though, was on this table in the demo. That's the fruit. I don't think this was in the demo. It had this table. Okay, this is where we read the note and stuff. Okay. All right, let's start off by watching the tape that our aunt Kate told us not to. There's no turning back. Here we go. Hi, I'm Amanda. Hi. And I'm Wooly. Today, we're going to make an apple pie. My favorite is peach pie. What's your favorite kind of pie? My favorite is apple. Mm, that sounds delicious. Today, we're going to make an apple pie. First, oh, we need yes. to cut the apples. Hmm, do you know what we can use to cut the apples? A knife? Yeah. Good job. We can use a sharp knife. Very well, sharp. I don't think we're supposed to do that by ourselves. Well. It's always good to be brave when you're by yourself. Look. I'm a pirate. Ha <laughs> Playing with a knife. That doesn't seem safe. Okay, Willie. Let's cut the apple. That was hard. We have almost <laughs> everything we need to make she our She seems pie. to be against We just safety. need some sugar. Hmm. Do you know where we keep the sugar? Is it in the pantry, the refrigerator, or the sink? In the friggin' pantry. Great. Let's make a pie. Hmm, can you smell the apples and cinnamon? Not really. Okay, it's time to bake a pie. First, preheat the oven to 425. I don't think we should be using the oven by ourselves. <laughs> we should always ask a parent to help. I'm not sure where they are right now. Yeah. We're on our own, Willie. They're on our own, messing First, around in the preheat kitchen. Preheat the oven to 425 degrees. Then, put the apples into the pie tin. Mm -hmm. Now, put it in the oven and bake it for 40 minutes. They're telling us what to do there. Our pie is ready. I can't wait to eat it. I can't wait. Willie, either. let's have some pie. Pretty much telling us, let's have some pie. All right, let's take this and put it there. All right. Get this. I don't remember this being in the demo. All right. Oh, look, magically the thing is right on the table. Okay. So first thing we want to do is preheat the oven to 425 and the timer is on 40. 
And then we want to get open it. We want to get the apple, which is here. Put it in the tin. Pick the tin up. Put it in the oven. There we go. Great. And we got the tape. The next tape. Now this, after we play this tape, this is where the demo ended. So let's see what happens here. Hi friend, I'm Amanda. And I'm Wooly. Yeah. What do you like best about your neighborhood? That's great. I like that there are so many friends in my neighborhood. Today, I want to send something special to my friend. First, I need to go to the store Post to buy office. them a card. Do you know where the store is? It's the corner store. Good job. Let's go to the store. Let's pick out a card. My friend helped me when I was sad. This is what all new, by the way. What card should I send them? A sad card. We want this. No, we don't. We want this. Do you think that's what they need? <laughs> no, they need this. Cheer them Great. up. Great. I found the perfect card. Time for the next errand. When friends do nice things, it's important to thank them. I want to get my friend a special treat. Can I have a special treat? No. I want to get my friend a special treat. Where can I buy a <laughs> treat for Willie. my friend? The bakery. Good job. Let's go get that treat. All right, let's go get it. Mmm. Everything smells so good. Yeah. I want to buy my friend some. Buy my friend some cookies. Can you show me where the cookies are? They're right here. Those look so tasty. We just have one more stop in the neighborhood. The package is ready for my friend. They live pretty far from me, so Mailing them cookies. we need to mail it. Wow, it's getting late. Most of the stores are closed. We probably can't send that now. I have to send this to my friend. It's time to go to the post office. <laughs> Let's send this package to my friend. Their name is... Wait, I don't remember. Of course not. Can you help me? We can come back tomorrow. You don't have to send that now. No, I have to send this to my friend. Help me. Who does the package need to go to? Um. Ash. No, that's not my friend's name. <laughs> Whoa. You have to know their name. I don't know their name. You didn't tell us. He's getting angry. Matt, Kate. Great work! Now what? we can send this to my friend. I hope she likes the cookies. And that's it. Uh, that episode, I guess. She's starting to get a little angry. Emily. Hem okay. Oh, that tape ended. Uh, let's put it here. Um, we need to get a new tape. Yo. All right, we got a new thing my jigger here. Now, I don't know what we're doing with this. Hamlin. C, D, E, F, G. A, B, C, D. Clock. Just investigated now. It's rainy outside. Interesting. The chest that is locked. Mousetrap. This. And there's a potted plant. 
Now the plant gets to grow. But yeah, who'd have thought I'm stuck on a puzzle in a kid's type game? I don't know what it is. We also have this. Pink. Aunt Kate. Just to say. Thank you so much for the roller skates. Dad and I went skating at the lake yesterday. He fell down, but don't tell him I told you that. I can't wait to see your summer vacation. Love, Riley. Kate. Kate. Kate, that was the name of her friend in the tape. So Amanda knows Kate. Huh. Hmm. These symbols mean something. That means pink. All right, I think I've done something here. So I put one of these pots down and it's growing a plant. I'm not sure why or if we need to grow him, but oh, but that's one of the symbols. Put it somewhere we can get to. So I guess we can grow some more. Grow the rest of the potted plants. Grow H. It's growing. All right, let's take it back. I'm not even sure we're supposed to be doing this. So where's the other half of this page? Uh, yeah, those are all the shapes of the flower pots. What's it say, Mrs. Park? I know it's been a long time since you've seen me. I swear the library is sometimes the only place I felt safe. I'm always grateful to you. And the police figure someone snatched Jordan off the street. Some crazy guy lured him away. Freak occurrence, you know. A regular old suburban tragedy. But I know there's something more to it. And I know you have to know it too. Thought I was alone. Nobody believed me when I tried to bring it up. But I heard the kind of research you do. The kind that normal people don't do. Oh, maybe it's a rumor. But here I am. School records, behavioral complaints, make appointment to review cold cases, disappearances. Don't be a stranger. I'm your neighbor. Energy transfer. Certificate. Catherine Park. So that's Kate, huh? Building still there. Too risky. We did a change in this message here. You used to watch that show, you know. It's really sweet. I remember that you even used to da -da -da, get to watch it. And then it just got weird. I find Jordan standing in front of the TV like he's in a trance. That little girl was talking to him. Said some really weird stuff. I know most of the people around here don't believe in the kind of work you do. Not the library, other kind of work. It's just, can we meet and talk? I don't want to write anymore here. I feel like someone's watching me. Joanne Cook. So this Kate is some kind of investigator of weird occurrences. I think I see some clues here. So you got C, B, F here. C, B, F. Good job. Let's go to the store. Okay. So we got a clue from that that I might have missed. So we want to hit C B F. So there it goes. We did it. Nice. This one's called Oh No Something. you whatever you do 
Don't it? Oops. Oh no! Wooly had an accident! <laughs> an accident is when something bad happens, but it's not anybody's fault. Accidents can happen in your house, at school, at you the did playground. It. You can get hurt almost everywhere. At 3.45 this afternoon, we were playing and Wooly tripped and fell. I, I didn't try. Where on Wooly does it look like he got hurt? What? What did he get hurt? Knee? That's right! Yeah. Wooly hurt his knee. Who can help when <laughs> you are hurting? Do you see a doctor? Let's take Wooly to the hospital to see a doctor. Which room should we go into to find the right doctor to help Wooly? Yeah, bones. Come on, let's get Wooly fixed up. Amanda, this really hurts. When is the doctor going? The doctor isn't here right now. Let's see how we can help Wooly. Which the doctor's tool can never, we no use one's to ever check there. Wooly's injury? The it's heart monitor, there. the X-ray machine, or the scale? We want the x-ray, or whatever that is. That's right! Now we can look at Wooly's bones! Uh-oh, accidents. That's what it was. Okay. Hamlet. So I feel we need to... Do something with the clock. You say 325. Let's see if we remember it. Oh, there it is. Uh. You can get hurt almost everywhere. <laughs> At 345 this afternoon, we were... 345. That's 345, right. 345, 345. <sighs> 345. Three forty five, Willie got hurt. You know, on over here. There we go. So the timer's gone off, but for what? Oh, boy changed. Tick tock. Catching up with Sam. Heck is this? Some kind of. Oh, it's a clock hand. That's what this is. Is it for this? Yes, it is. And I guess this clock is for the the other clock that was in the tape. This time. So six twenty. All right, we're back stuck. It's a nice little bit of progress. Stuck at clocks. So I noticed this time here, 2250. That could be part of a puzzle too. 2250, what is that? That is 13 is one. That's 1050. Okay. Ten fifty, maybe that's the other time. First, let's try it over here. Ten fifty. Nice, we got it. So we got ten fifty there. 
by 15 by 15 there so maybe we put that 515 in here let's see Five, ten, fifteen. Yes, we did it. Finally, safe eight two six. Got new tape. Nice. Safe eight two six. Everything rots. Hi, Ken. I'm Amanda. And I'm Wooly. It's such a nice day for a picnic. What's your favorite food to eat at a picnic? Oh, I don't like that at all. I was gonna say meat. Amanda, what's that smell? I've never smelled anything like that. That's right. I don't know, Wooly. You're right. It's a bad smell. What do you do think something. is making that bad smell? Uh, your basket. The rotten apples. No, that looks fine. It does. You, you're right. What is that? This sandwich is stinky because it's sandwich. rotting. This tree stump is rotting too. Do you know why? Things rot Just when they are to... not alive anymore. Do you know what the opposite of alive is? Yeah, dead. That's right. The tree stump is dead. Dead is the opposite of alive. <laughs> Good job. This is about dies, death. They don't get enough light or water. Or if they get a disease. Let's go back to our nice picnic. Animals can die in different ways too. <laughs> about death. Look at poor Mr. Fox. He is dead and body. What do you think killed him? The gun, the knife, or the poisonous berries on this bush? The poisonous berries. I don't think that was it. Uh, the knife? No, it wasn't that. Look at his funny tongue. He's silly. What killed him? <laughs> the gun. Wouldn't it be nice if he could tell us? Of course. Mr. Fox. What made you die? He's not gonna tell you. You did. Uh, there's really not much else. It was the ugly old bear trap. Mr. Fox didn't even know what got him until it was too late. Amanda, this has gone too far. I don't <laughs> like this. We saw so many things today! A riding sandwich, a riding tree stump, and silly old riding Mr. Fox. Hmm. Sometimes I feel myself riding. riding. But it feels far away. Amanda, nothing is rotten here. What do you think? Do you think that everything rots? Of course no. not, Amanda. I'm not asking you. Answer my question. You don't have to answer that. See? Everything is fine here. It's all fine. Everything's fine. Uh-oh. Here we go. What's this? Yeah, what is this? Everything is fine. Continue. So he died. Oh, come on. You gotta do that all over. Well, at least we know what the solutions are. Yes, we say yes. That's what I was afraid of. Yes. Uh oh, did we die again?
Ouch. Well, that was Amanda the Adventurer. Apparently, if you fail that, you got to start all the way over as if you did not do anything, which sucks. So, catch you next time.